Every guy in here is a potential Mac. And you're going to be a Mac at one point in your life. The only guys who are not Macs are virgins. <laughs> They can still have it. They can be trying to have games. You gotta have the results to have games. You did. Know? If you play basketball, you're not a basketball player until you get a free throw. You know? <laughs> but every man is a Mac. You just have different degrees of Mac, and you have first degree Mac, second degree Mac, and third degree Mac. Now, when a man becomes sexually active for the first time, he's the first degree Mac because he wants to know one of two things: how to get more women and how to get better women. <laughs> and in his mind, more is better. <laughs> that brings us to the second degree Mac. And every guy goes through the stage. The second degree Mac is a guy who wants to get as many notches under his belt as possible. It's all about how many numbers he has got. It's all about how many women, women he's laid up with. That's a second degree Mac. Now, if or when a man graduates to the third degree level of Mackin, he's going to be more concerned with quality instead of quantity. A third degree Mac knows that one top-notch woman is better than 20 chicken heads. <laughs> That's real talk. So how do you get quality women? How do you reach that third degree level in the game? You have to become a quality man. How do you become a quality man? You have to understand what kind of man you are right now. A lot of men don't know. There are four types of men. The ladies, y'all keep this out. <laughs> I call them the four P's. We have players, professionals, pushovers, and parolees. <laughs> <laughs> and there's positive and negative aspects to all of these guys. Now the player, positive aspect about the player, very smooth, very charismatic, has to get the gap with women, very confident. The negative thing about a lot of players, they are deceptive. They lay up with a whole bunch of women, have a lot of kids out of wedlock, they'll lie to you, use up your credit card, <laughs> sleep with your sister, <laughs> get you know more COVID's crying. <laughs> <laughs> then you have a professional. You have a professional guy, college educated, very well in his finances, very articulate guy. The negative thing about the professional brother a lot of these guys are stuck on themselves. They kind of talk down to the women they deal with, like they're superior. Like, I got a BA from Yale. <laughs> <laughs> I drive a Porsche. They have that kind of attitude. Then you have the pushover. Now, the good thing about the pushover guy is he can be sensitive, and sensitivity is good at times. He knows how to call you at work to, to say how you're doing. He knows how to buy flowers on Valentine's. He remembers your birthday. But the negative thing about the pushover guy, when you snap your fingers, he jumps. And women are turned off by that. Women do not want a man who's going to jump at her every move. No matter what they say, women will lose respect for a guy like that. And then you have the parolee brother. <laughs> the kind of guy who sits around the house smoking blunts, playing PlayStation. <laughs> In and out of jail, hand sagging, white beater on. But the good thing about that guy, he knows how to hit that thing right. <laughs> That's why ladies deal with guys like that. So as a Mac, you want to be in a renaissance man. You want to possess all the positive qualities of the four P's. You want to be smooth like a player. You want to be up on your game and your finances like a professional brother. You want to be sensitive at times, like a pushover, and you want to know how to hit that thing right, like a, a rolling. <laughs>